Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Moorhead Homestead. You can see I got the four-wheeler loaded up again and uh, show you a little bit on this other side here what I got. So I got this four-wheeler loaded up. I got weed eater. I got a couple bags of corn, gas jug. So what I'm going to do, I've got to go get some gas for the four-wheeler, but uh, I'll throw where my camera's out. There's a ton of tall grass and uh, those pigs have been coming in like every night all night long since i put that corn out so i'm gonna go prepare a spot for uh me matt from the Payne family and taylor from pure living for outdoors uh here in a couple days we're gonna set up there and uh try to get some of these pigs knocked out uh for one they're eating all of our stuff for two um they're destroying the farmer's field um he plants beans and wheat in there and uh they're rooting it up pretty good and uh, causing just when he's driving his tractor through there, it's just, it's just causing a mess for him and uh, he wants them taken care of. So that's part of the, the lease agreement with him is that uh, I help control the pig population. So we're gonna do that. Uh, so I'm gonna go out there, clear some stuff out, uh, try to get us a place to set up and we'll go from there. We'll see you guys. All right, well, I'm gonna have to hurry up. Today is Lindy's birthday. Uh, a lot of you guys follow us on Facebook. You've seen that announcement. Uh, so I'm gonna hurry up and get this. When she gets off work and the kids get out of school, we're gonna go out to dinner. So I'm gonna load this thing up with some corn, uh, put my weed eater on here and some of these hedge clippers, and I'm gonna head out and uh, try to knock this out rather quickly. So thank you guys for watching again. This is Bo at Moorhead Homestead, and let's go get to work. We gotta make sure we got those pigs got enough feed to hang around for a couple more days. Some of you guys may not like us shooting pigs on here, but uh, honestly, these these feral hogs like we got out here, especially the one this size, uh, they can be really dangerous. Not only uh, for deer and turkey, they kill all those. But also, they've been known to attack people. And with uh, me and my brother-in-law take my kids and my nephews out here hunting with us, that's just not an option to have uh, those wild pigs running around here. And possibly, you know, middle of the night, you're walking out early morning and come up on a mess of them and they want to attack. So that's not going to happen. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to take care of them. So. So I'm out here and I'm gonna do some trimming on these trees here, uh, just cause some of them are causing the camera to go off. But you gotta be careful, cause if you look, look right here. I don't know if you can see this. Snapped here, spit off here, it's broke here. All these are dead, been bit off. This one right here, been broke off. This is a, uh, a lot of times there's a big scrape here during season and these bucks are using the same area uh, predominantly every year for scrapes so I don't want to cut down their licking branches and uh, their scrape marking spots so those two spots I'm not going to cut but everywhere else I will I'm going to 
gonna trim up the one on that where the camera is. I'm gonna trim up that tree right there and then uh, just weed eat this a little bit. I can see it looks a lot better looking out under there you can see the field a lot better back behind me that tree's cleared up Our, my plan is to set up in that tree line right over there i was going to set up there's an island of trees right there but that hill right there i don't think we'll be able to see over it to this spot plus that'll be just, just be right inside where we're walking in at and then right there so i think that'll be better i'm gonna get this corn dumped out here and uh got the farmer over here i'm gonna talk to him a little bit All right, guys, well, thanks again for watching today's video. Um, I just want to convey one more time that we're not just out shooting these pigs for sport, uh, you know, just to shoot them, just to shoot them. They really are a problem here in Oklahoma. And they're also a safety concern for, like I said, for my kids and for my nephews. When we take them out there hunting, uh, those big boars like that, and even the sows, when they have some piglets, which if there's a boar and some sows, there's gonna be some piglets. They can get protective over them. So we just don't want to put our kids in any situation to where their safety would be concerned. So Matt, like I said, Matt from the Payne family and Taylor from Pure Living for Outdoors is gonna come help me out. Cause once you, if I was to go by myself and shoot one, they would, they would disappear for a little bit and then they'd come right back. So with three of us, maybe we can eliminate the problem altogether. And, uh, and then, who knows, maybe we'll have a big pig fry together. So, uh, yeah. What's up, Thorky? All right, guys, well, if you like this video, um, if you'd like to see more hunting videos, more outdoor stuff, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, or more at Homestead, please subscribe and ring that notification bell. Uh, I know a lot of you guys first came over uh, when I was a hunting channel. That's what I started off as, um, all things outdoors. And we kind of, with our property out here and, and just getting more animals, we kind of transitioned to the uh, homestead aspect of it. But this time of the year, we'll, we will be getting into a lot more outdoor type hunting, um, preparation and stuff like that videos. So, hey, Layla. You want some attention? Layla, you want some attention? Do you? Oh, Thor's jealous. Layla. Oh, Layla. Oh, Layla. Layla. All right, guys, that's all we got in today's video. Like I said, today's Lindy's birthday. So please drop it in the comments. Happy birthday, Lindy.